what's up everybody, I'm Starlord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a crazy awesome battle glitch in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Before I actually get into all of this, I would like to say this glitch was found by who else but Troy. Of course it's found by Troy, you know, he's like the best at finding glitches, I'm telling you. Um, but basically, uh, just give a little shout out in the comment section below to Troy, and also make sure that you leave a like on the video if you do enjoy this, and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy these type of videos. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is go to the Golden Pokeball, guys, or anywhere where you've actually got an apartment. Uh, but first thing we need to do is go to the arcade inside of the Golden and Pokeball. So as you can see, I'm inside the arcade right now. And what I'm going to do is go over to these arcade machines right over here. Um, now what we want to do is kind of position ourselves so that if we open up our menu, we can still click on the little play option um, underneath the menu. So as you can see, I've just clicked play. And now I'm actually playing the game with the menu open. What you want to do is fail the game by going into the barrier and then you'll still have your menu open. What you want to do then is go outside of the map. Uh, so as you can see, I'm outside of the uh, arcade, but I've still got this menu up on my screen, which is really, really crazy. Once outside, what we're going to do is click fly. And as you can see, we can still move around. Now what we're going to do is go back inside of the golden Pokeball or wherever you have your apartment and go into your apartment itself. So here's my room right now. And uh, as you can see, I'm about to get inside of it. There you go. I'm inside my room right now, and I still have the option to actually fly. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, you can fly to any location that you want, really. It doesn't really matter. But I found that the best location to probably go is maybe back to Anthean City. So what we're going to do is fly to Anthean City, just like so. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because he, like, just picks you up in your house. It's really crazy. Um... And now once we're in Anthean City, you will see that we can actually still decorate and configure our apartment from here. Um, now this actually works for a lot of glitches now. I'm telling you, there is so many glitches that you can do with this. Um, but of course, Troy found this one and it's super awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into Anthean Sewers. It's right down this little stairwell right here. And uh, as you can see, I'm going in right now. And uh, this is probably the easiest place to do the weirdest glitch in this game. As you can see, there's Troy. But what we're going to do is uh, now we're inside here. We're just going to run about a little bit and try to encounter a Pokemon. Um, so now that I've done that, there's Troy. He's doing the glitch right now. It's so crazy. Everyone can see Troy doing this right now. This is what we're going to be doing, basically. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do, guys, is click on decorate, just like so. And what we're going to do is go down to a chair. Now, we need any chair to place down. And what I'm going to do is place mine somewhere around about here, just where coughing is. Um, and basically, uh, wherever you place the chair is wherever you will see people actually, like, seeing you. Uh, so basically, like, whenever somebody goes into a battle, they will see you just standing there in the battle. It's absolutely crazy, and people freak out when they see this, because they're just so confused. Um, so as you can see, I've placed down this chair right here. This is where I'm going to place it, just somewhere around about there. That looks fine. It looks like coughing sitting on a chair now. But what we're going to do is click back on the chair and click on this little icon right here to move it. And then what we're going to do is run from the battle. And uh, as you can see, I've still got hold of my chair. And what we're going to do is drag it onto our body. Uh, so one, two, three, there you go. And as you can see, I've actually just sat down on the chair in this invisible... I don't even know where to call it. It's an invisible zone. But as you can see from my friend's view right now, this is Raid Kill. Thank you very much for the footage, dude. If he encounters a Pokemon in the same area that I've just been in, he will actually see this on his screen right now. There you go. That is me actually sitting on the chair. Like, you guys have just saw me literally just sit down. This was actually at the same time as I sat down that Raid Kill recorded this. And everybody will see this on their screen. Um... Now, what's even fun about this is, like, I'm pretty sure that no matter what zone people go to, they can always see my character, shut up, phone, my character just sitting down. As you can see, Troy's dancing in the background there. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to actually do the, like, dancing in the background thing, but I did know that if you press your hoverboard button, you're actually able to get on your hoverboard and start kind of doing all of this. Like, it kind of looks like some weird little funky dance. I don't know, it's... It's kind of crazy, um, but basically, I think Troy has been messing around with all of these different glitches lately, and 
This was just one of the outcomes. He's genuinely found more glitches and they will pretty much be on my channel in the next couple of days. He is such a great glitcher, probably the best glitcher I know, if I'm honest. And he does so well to find these things. So thank you very much for that, Troy. You're absolutely awesome. As you can see, I'm just kind of using my hoverboard to kind of fly in the air. Kind of like, it looks like I'm shaking my booty now. I'm shaking the booty, girls. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much floating in the air. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, but unfortunately for me, nobody really uh, went into battles. I think they were just kind of trying to find where I was in the game. So nobody really knew, like, to go into a battle to see me float on their screen but I'm pretty sure if people saw me doing this they would have went absolutely crazy like Troy did it just before he showed me this glitch and he said the whole like lobby the whole area of people was just going crazy because they were so surprised and so like weirded out that you know, he was actually floating right next to their Pokemon and dancing next to their Pokemon. Um, so this really can troll people. It's absolutely funny and it makes for very good content too, I think. Uh, but what I'm going to do is switch back to actually my view of the actual game right now. And as you can see, um, before on the previous clip, I was kind of doing that weird little dance. Um, and basically all you have to do is once you do this glitch, um, on your screen, obviously you can't like see yourself in the area, but everybody else will. And you can basically do whatever you want. You can build and uh, still kind of make different things. And you can also like do what I'm doing right now. Get on your hoverboard, get off it, and then you'll be flying in midair. And uh, basically just get on your hoverboard and start dancing. And, like just by pressing left right left right and everything like that it's it's just like whatever you want to do guys you mess around with it and make whatever you can with this video um, but what I would really love to see is that um, if any of you and your friends want to try and do this glitch please remember to let's say for example you do the glitch and um, Try and get your friend to go into the battle and see you like floating in the background if they can do that Please please send a screenshot to my Twitter I would absolutely love to like and retweet it because I just think it's so cool uh, people working together and um, so basically what I did here was I placed up a um, a kind of um, table above me and I kind of realized that if I keep on spamming on and off my hoverboard, I eventually kind of uh, go up and up. And as you can see, I'm kind of going higher and higher right now. And if I just keep on doing it, I will actually get to the top of this little desk and I'm able to move around onto it. And um, this is actually where I realized, like, you know, Troy is doing exactly that. Like, obviously, I can't see him placing down his objects. But he definitely placed down like a chair or a table uh, so that he can move around. Uh, so as you can see, I can now move around inside this little box thing. And um, although I'm too low for people to see me, if you, if I was to actually build a lot of like maps and everything like that, like a lot of mats or tables, um, people would be able to see me running across their little battle scene. So it, it's kind of just crazy. Um, if you guys do think that you're really good at finding glitches, I would absolutely love you guys to try and find anything with the fly glitch like you know the glitch where I went inside the building I pressed fly um honestly there's a lot of glitches for it and there's going to be a lot of videos coming out very soon of me doing a lot of stuff with that fly fly gl fly glitch um, so definitely keep an eye out for it because I know for a fact you guys love the glitches on this game and uh, with me and Troy working on them um you guys aren't going to be disappointed you're going to absolutely absolutely love the videos I've got coming out um, and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed the videos that come out in the next couple of days if you do want to see me try any type of glitches or you know kind of try anything with the glitches I've already found uh, please feel free to comment down below look at that I, I actually encountered a Pokemon outside of the map which is so crazy and Troy's just there dancing still which is absolutely insane it's so crazy how these glitches work there's so fun to do they really are like I, I seriously hope that like the dev team aren't able to patch these type of glitches because although they are harmless they're extremely fun to do and to troll with people uh, well anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah have a very awesome weekend and until next time I've been Star Lord oh, see you